got Les. Les, are you there? Hey, can you hear me okay? Yeah. How's it going, girl? Good, good, good. Right. So you guys are in, I've actually heard Les a few times in uh, <laughs> live. <laughs> You're in for um, a major, major treat. She's, um, I don't know. I think Les, the first time I heard you, I wasn't expecting to hear what actually came out, but uh, Les has a really unique, um, you're going to hear it, but it's like a blend of folk, soul, and then you've got faith collaborated in all of that. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about it. Um, well, my roots are in Kentucky. So, yeah. you know, that that folk is just going to naturally kind of work its way out in what I'm doing. So um, it's just been, I don't know. Um it's been kind of hard finding my niche in Christian music because it's not what everybody else is doing. Yeah. But um, there's some peace that comes in just knowing God's called you to be you. He hasn't called us to be anybody else. And um, in that we have certain giftings, certain styles, certain things about ourselves that make us us. And that's, you know, something you can rest in that, if you are just confident in yourself and who you are in Christ and what he's called you to do, then a lot of the um, kind of not sure about what to do kind of, you don't struggle with it as much, yeah. you know, thank goodness. <laughs> right. But, <laughs> awesome. You help. You help. But, yeah. Um, all right. Um, well, I've got a song coming out um, uh, July 16th, and it's called Trust in You, Lord. And um, so I'm just going to start out with that one because I'm really excited uh, for the studio version to be out, out and about finally. But... I can take what I see for what it seems. Oh, you see far beyond all that I've been leaning on. Oh, I give all I found on my own, finding you holding me it feels so free here as I let go of all I've known and I will trust in you Lord meaning not on my own understanding at all oh I will trust in you Lord meaning not on my own Understanding at all. Oh, I will see who you are and all your truth. Oh, I can't be wise in my own eyes. I look to you or to. Guide my way, light this path all the time in perfect time. I give you all of this life with every step. I will trust in you, Lord, meaning not on my own understanding at all. Oh, I will trust in you, Lord, leaning not on my own, understanding at all. And in all my ways, in all my ways, I will give to you. Oh, you can make it, you can make my past We'll trust in you, Lord, leaning not on my own, understanding at all. Oh, I will trust in you, Lord, leaning 
not on my own understanding at all. All I have, I will trust you, Lord. I will trust you, Lord. With all I have, I will pray you, Lord. Oh, I will trust in you, Lord. Leaning not on my own understanding at all. Oh, I will trust in you, Lord. Leaning not on my own understanding at all. Love it, Les. Awesome. Yay. Awesome. Is it coming through okay? It is. Your guitar kind of is going in and out a little bit, but oh, it's okay. It's not that good anyway, so no loss. No loss. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, <laughs> we got it. <laughs> we, we, can, hey, hey. we can tell, definitely. Um, it's good. Good stuff. So tell us a little bit about your influences. Um, growing up, it was a lot of, like, jazz and blues um, mm -hmm. before um, I got saved in a little county jail and found the Lord and gave my life to Jesus, which uh, that's... That's kind of like the the Lord and Savior things. I think that's two different two different things, two different instances. Sometimes, like you can have Him as your Savior, but have you made Him Lord of your life? Like, have you really have you really laid it down? So I feel like He became my Savior at that point of brokenness when I prayed and asked Him into my heart, and there was a change. There was there was man, there was so much pride, and suddenly there was such humility that I felt like a humility is just like an openness that you, you try not to have, you know, and he just, he got in there and he started working on my heart and, um, I, I ran from him like you do most big commitments. You're like, meh, I don't know. Uh, this maybe it was just a moment of weakness. So I spent, um, I don't know a good, I think I lasted five, five and a half months running from the Lord, which it took everything I had. It was miserable. Where's your dad? And uh, he showed me a vision one night that just, man, I won't get into that, but it was, I booked a flight home. I was living in uh, San Francisco and just playing in the clubs there and playing down at Fisherman's Wharf, down by the trolley and, you know, just, just hustling, just booking it, making my living. And um, things were starting, starting opening up, but I, I'm thinking maybe the Lord intervened right at a time maybe i would have gone too far so um i came home laid down my life he took addiction from me homosexuality i am married to a handsome man and have two beautiful children madly in love we have we will have 14 years wow. of commitment 14 years wow. in september september great 24th. congratulations so um it just gets better you know, those of you that are young married folks and you're struggling a little bit, you're just, it's just like when you take two wads of, of dough and you try to blend them together, it takes time, you know? So before you can kind of mold yourself into one, there's some, there's some working that has to be done in that, but it's all worth it. And it turns into something, a beautiful marbled work of art in the end. So, um, but anyway, that was a cool. total side note, but no, um, it's great. I mean, it's definitely part of your story. Part of your cha he that. changed so much. I mean, anyone that knew me before was like, you are not the same person. Like I can go a whole conversation without cursing now. So <laughs> <laughs> before Jesus, that was not, I struggled on the phone with my mom. Like, Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying. But, uh, yeah, he yeah. just he he works so many great things into your life just through his word. And, you know, it's it's not like chipping off big blocks of of things you've struggled with. He just kind of chips a little at a time what you're ready to have removed and what you're ready to work on. And if you stay steady in his word and just take that time to talk with him and have that conversation, he's going to show you what's next. And there's always something next. There's always something else like, okay, well now we're going to work on this. And absolutely. If you don't, if you don't pass that test, you're just going to take it again. I'm going to tell you, if you can't figure out how to forgive that person yeah. or 
work Repeat. in that environment or whatever it is, you're going to face it again and again until you get it. So I would say quickest way Bonnet. to move ahead in this game of life and hit the next level yep. is learn forgiveness in the moment immediately. Yeah. Like just don't even hold on. Like, like you're taught in some different classes I've taken that if you can get someone to touch something, hold it, feel it, they start to take ownership of it mm -hmm. like immediately. And like, if you can get them to hold it. And I think if you have that unforgiveness or that comment someone made and you hold it, you start to take ownership of it. Yeah. But if you're able to take that, take what someone says or take a situation that's happening and just see it for what it is on display and be like, no, I'm not taking that home. Yep. Sorry. Can't afford that in my bank of emotion. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. That's really, that's really a good way to look at it. Like, do I want to take ownership of this? this yeah. hurt? And do I really want this to hold me back or hold me down or, you know, like, like there just comes a point where you realize some things just aren't worth holding on to. You know, you want to no. hold on to the good step. So good. good. Ooh, cool. Well, right um, you're a book. <laughs> I am. I'm writing a book. It is called okay. uh, The Real Story of My Name. Okay. And that way you take ownership of it. When, I when you that. say, you I had know, no have you read idea the real story of that. my name? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. have you read the real story of my name? Because it's about you discovering your identity in Christ. So and cool. um, I drove out to New Mexico just a few years ago and spent a week with my first adopted family. I was adopted twice. Okay. Um, I was just really wanted. I like to think, you know, <laughs> like there was there was someone else that wanted me. Um, but I got so many questions answered and so much gray area removed emotionally, mentally, physically, like just so much that I went through in all those years of why did you leave me? Yeah. And they had you know, my dad was just an open book. He's like, we could, there was a lot of things you can't tell a six-year-old. He's like, so ask your questions. I want to be completely open and transparent with you. And it was just a beautiful, beautiful week. And I drove out there all the way by myself because the Lord told me to. I tried to book a flight. He said, no drive. And I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> I wanna, who, what friend am I taking? He's like me. <laughs> you're going to be alone in a car with me for 40 hours, chick. Let's do this. Wow. And, um, um, so I had some, some requests from the Lord, you know, like I'm going to need a few things in return for my obedience of going. Cause this is a tough thing to face. Sure. And it was right after I'd found my birth father, I'd never met and forgave him. And wow. I thought it ended there. And then it was the next thing. Okay. The next test came and, um, but he showed me the cover of the book and I had struggled with the title, struggled with what the cover would look like. I'm a songwriter, so titles are my jam. So I had like 40 titles and I'm like witty, you know, like, like what, what, what's the title going to be? The title's important. And uh, he showed me the, the front of the book and it had my name, which my name is Leslie Nicole Downs, yeah. Leslie and Downs. But when I saw the cover, all I saw was less in Downs. And when it turned in the light, which I've checked with the book printer, they can do this. It's called a translucent foil. When it turned in the light, I saw the L-I-E part of my name with a mark through it. Oh, I've wow. taken the lies you've answered to since the moment you were born. Wow. I was like, I'll take that. It's powerful. I'll take that. <laughs> Ooh, so sorry. So it's less and downs is what I go by now. And I, I, I st looked about getting a website and. There's other lesson downs, like Leslie in downs. There's other, you know, Leslie downs, but I put less and then in, and I started doing my last name, nothing W, nothing in, nothing. I was like, oh, because I was, I was trying to find a domain and, and I was like, well, he did show me my name as just less. Let me try that. And I'm the only one on there. And I was like, that speaks again about that individuality and uniqueness and, Maybe no one else just wanted that name. I don't know, but uh, I don't know. It There's just really spoke girl. to me when there was no um, like answer on Google as far as that being existing. It, so I just thought that was neat. But yeah, there's there's a lot that he's just opened up and shown and so much healing in it. And I know it's going to help. I, I pray it's going to help. I don't think he'd have me do something if it wasn't going to help a lot of people get closer to him because that's the whole goal that's how things get 
that's how things get the way they need to be. So for sure, girl. Well, awesome. Well, Hey, let's get you to your next song here. Yeah. She's Thank like, you so okay, much. this is, this is my husband's advice. He's like less talking, more singing, babe. Okay. <laughs> no, I, I mean, we could sit and listen to honestly, you've got such an amazing testimony and, you know, stories that, uh, next time I'm in town, we'll have to catch up for sure. We definitely we'll will to that deli by Erskine's. Yes, for sure, girl. Okay. All right. Let's this hear this is next called, one. Uh, this is called power in us. So. You are glorious, your power astounding, strength boundless, and still found in our weakness. Tell the frost when to fall, every creature knows your call. One wave of your hand in this dry land is an ocean. And your power here within your glory no longer. No, we won't keep it in. Spirit move like wind. We we'll take you in. Bringing dark to light, the dead to life. Leave us breathless in your presence. Spirit fall on us. We feel your breath. We give it all till you're all that's left. And living in us. Is your spirit moving through us? Your powerful presence, just one burst of breath. We feel with the light, a flood within flows love divine. The power your presence, the peace in your grace, flooding our spirits. You're filling this place with the power in your presence, the peace in your grace, flooding our spirits. You're filling this place with the power in your presence, the peace in your grace, flooding our spirits. Bringing dark to light, the dead to life. Leave us breathless in your presence. Spirit fall on us. We feel your breath. We give it all till you're all that's left. hey oh <laughs> it is so much better with the lead guitar i'm not gonna lie i'm not used hey. to playing all of that but... all good you got it girl well cool yeah. well um on your next upcoming song that you got um is it part of your i know you're are you doing you're releasing songs are you releasing an album or is yeah, it it's an uh, album, but songs? we're releasing them one at a time okay because of this the investment in all ways yeah. they need it just a moment to get to be out there on their own so For sure um trust in you lord is next and there's two more coming off of this album and then it will be released as a whole and then oh. start the next which i've got a really exciting event coming up in october with the full band backup singers and ah 
awesome. up in uh, the Alice Theater here in Litchfield. So uh, we've got a film crew coming and we're going to record the night live so we can release live versions of these songs where you really get a chance to just open up with them a little bit. And um, it'll be live at the Alice Theater. So I'm awesome. I'm excited for that one. So Very have we got time for one more? Or? Yeah, we got time for uh, for one more. Tell us a little bit about it. All right, this one is called uh, For Your Glory. And it was just kind of um, written written in a time of being really, just really thankful and thinking about um, just how God doesn't forget the promises he makes. Like, yeah. we're people, we're flawed. We can, things can slip our mind and we can forget some things. And, oh my gosh, that was today. But God just always knows. And he... Um, like he knew what I needed before I did. And I think that's one of the things about letting go of your, your own wants is um, sometimes we want something, but we're wanting something we've never had. So when we get it, we're like, Oh wait, no, this isn't what I wanted. This isn't what I thought it was. You're like, mm -hmm. well, God knows what it is and what we need and what we really want. And then when he gives us, those things were like, oh my gosh, this is what I really wanted. It wasn't anywhere in my plans, but you knew exactly what I needed and what I wanted. And it's perfect. And so just kind of, it was a, just a thank you, a thank you to the Lord for just my life and the blessings and my family and my children and uh, my wonderful husband and so supportive and just, right. you know, just a thank you and wanting to say, let all of my life be for your glory. Let every, everything I'm doing, it's yours. I'm tired of living in myself and doing things for myself. Like I'm tired of that. Like I just, I want to give you everything. So that's, that's where the song birthed out of it was just a time in, in prayer and um, chilling with the Lord one night just came out. So Love it, girl. From the moment I wake up, I will praise you Till I lay this head down I will thank you All the time Between Cause your love Was so divine Takes all I've lost Gives back the time with a family I'd never have without you. This love you still give when I doubt you. This life of mine is no longer mine. So let it be for your glory every day, everything. Let it be for your honor, for your name. I lift a heart of praise through everything, every song that I sing. Because you gave me a name that you remember. The promises you don't forget. This life I freely give you Every piece and every part of it And I won't hold back Anything from you Your glory wants to shine through In the big and in the small you care and see it all, so let it be for your glory every day, everything. Let it be for your honor, for your name. I lift a heart of praise through everything, every song that I sing, through everything. Every song that I sing, let it be for you. 
From the moment I wake up, I will praise you. Till I lay this head down, I will thank you. And all the time between. Beautiful. Love it, Les. Les, we definitely want to make sure we get the word out on these songs that are being released, um, your albums and all the upcoming stuff. Where can our viewers go to kind of connect with you, find that information? And Yeah, so I'm the only Lesson Downs mm -hmm. on the Google, on the online, on the searchers. Well, so if you put L-E-S, middle initial N, last name, D O W N S. That's it. And then you'll have like uh different videos pop up where um I've been on different things. I'm trying to get more YouTube stuff up. Um and I'll be on WBKO midday live on Thursday to play the song that's releasing on Tuesday and some different radio shows on Tuesday, but just getting the word out there. So I mean it's all it's all for the glory of God anyway. So if you feel like uh, the music ministry that I have will benefit someone, you know, or it's a, it's a different style. So I think it's just finding, um, those that, you know, your, your niche, I don't know, like the people that, that grew up the same way I did with Bonnie Raitt and big mama Thornton and, you know, <laughs> Billy holiday. And, uh, that was the, the main musical influences in my life. And I got saved and I'm like, what do I play now? I don't think I can play stuff like, like I used to, but if it's, if it's all to reach people for Christ and to call hearts closer to him, I mean, that's what it's, that's what it's all for. So, um, but thank you red for having, having me on tonight and everyone sounded incredible. So I'm looking forward to hearing everybody else. Yeah. You guys are all, you ladies are doing. Yeah. Amazing the ladies job. are killing it Freshing tonight. It tonight. I was say. Yeah. Totally killing it. Great. Yeah. Well, thanks for being a part. And um, yeah, we'll chat. We'll chat later. <laughs> I would, I would love to send me a message, Chick. But yeah, just check yeah. out. I've got a website and different things cool. on all the platforms. So if you type in lesson downs on anything, it should, it should just pop, pop right up with the links and slow, slow. All right. Awesome. All right, well, lady. Well, you all well, have a blessed night. Me thanks too. Thanks.